Hey guys, this is Joseph, ABC Sewing Machines. Uh, today we're gonna be covering a very, very important topic. It says, how to adjust your bobbin case tension, okay? We have the DDL5550N. Any industrial single needle machine with this bobbin, or pretty much any machine with a bobbin uh, and a bobbin case, you would need to uh, understand really how the tension works. Now you have the top tension and the bottom tension, okay? Top tension is always the go-to uh, for most people because they don't have the information on this. In my opinion, the bobbin case is always more important than the top side. You adjust your bobbin case first and then you move on to your needle, t uh, your needle tension. Okay, so we'll go right into it. So we have our bobbin, we have our bobbin case. For an industrial single needle, the bobbin goes inside the bobbin case, spinning clockwise. Okay, it goes through the little slit, has this little presser plate, we call that the tension spring or the tension plate. Make sure the thread goes all the way underneath that tension plate. Okay, in this position is kind of is where we adjust the tension of our bobbin case. Now I like to use a little spider test or a drop test. Uh, I'm sure there's so many names in this industry, but imagine a spider going down a web. Okay, if I hold the spider by the web, it doesn't just drop straight down to the ground. I don't have to really yo-yo it to release the web. Okay, so with that in the back of your mind, uh, we're gonna use that as a reference, okay? So if I have the bobbin case and I'm holding it by the thread, I'm gonna bounce up about an inch. Okay, I'm not really jerking it or anything like that, I'm just lightly bouncing up about an inch, and every single time I, I, I drop, it's releasing some thread and biting, okay? It's stopping, it's not just drooping straight down. I'm gonna give you a good example of the, uh, the most common type of issue that we see here. When I hold the thread, it just, the bobbin case just drops straight down. This is number one reason why you have a bird's nest that, that kind of builds up and jams up your machine. So a bird's nest is a ball of thread that gets stuck underneath the plate. It eats up your fabric. That is when you have your bobbin case loose like this, okay? So we want it to be able to hold, not drop down, and only drop down when we're actually bouncing it up and down about an inch, just calmly. And then once we get that adjustment, then that's pretty much the perfect tension for your lightweight to medium weight. Okay, if you need to go heavier than that, well, I'll explain that later in this video. Okay, so to make the adjustment on the bobbin case, we have, a, we have two screws on that little spring plate. We have a small screw on the very end of it and a bigger screw closer to where the thread comes out. Okay, now this is a very, very sensitive adjustment. Okay, I like to use like the hour system or the clock reference. So what I always do, right now the bobbin case is loose, I always put the line of the screw at 12 o'clock and six o'clock, okay? So from 12 to six, I'm gonna go, use a small little screwdriver, I'm gonna go to one o'clock. That's how sensitive that this adjustment is. When I say tighten, I don't mean crank it down, 12 o'clock, one o'clock, okay? So with that one hour difference, you can see it's traveling at a slower pace. Let's go one more hour. That's being held down, okay? I'm gonna bounce about an inch, and it's dropping about half an inch. This is the tension that we're looking for for, if you're not sure which thread that you're using or what style, then follow this rule, okay? I'm just gonna hold the spider by the web, I'm gonna bounce down about an inch, and it's gonna drop about half an inch to an inch, okay? So that's your standard go-to bobbin case if you're not sure, okay? After you do this, then you could start dialing in your top tension, okay? Uh, when you start working with a little bit heavier thread. How this works is the thread sticks out from this plate. Okay, so imagine I have my spring plate, it's wrapped on the bobbin wall, the thread is sticking out of there. So how much pressure is this applying to the thread coming out? So if we have a thicker thread, okay, if we have a thicker thread coming out of that same opening, it is possible that you might not have to adjust your tension at all because the thicker thread is bursting out and this spring is already really, is, is holding down to a certain extent, okay? But if we need to adjust it for thicker threads, you would dial this in. I would probably go uh, like 30 minutes instead of the full hour. So when I bounce this up and down, it's dropping down about an eighth of an inch, okay? It's not where I'm yelling it just to give it a little bit of play. I would start using this and go in increments of 30 minutes after this point. Once you get to this point, it's gonna be trial and error really with your, uh, with your thread and your tension. So look at the fabric that you're sewing through, look at the tension, look at the knots on the bottom side, 
If you still see the knots, then go ahead and try to increase this just a tad bit more. Um, if not, go ahead and check out our other video on how to adjust your tension and your take-up spring for your heavier weight fabrics and thread. Okay, so this is very, very important. Always neglected. The bobbin case should be adjusted first, and then your top tension should be adjusted after that. Okay, so I hope this helps, and uh, yeah, stay tuned uh, for more videos on uh, how to adjust your machine.